A Christmas for Bear by Bonnie Becker, illustrated by Caddy McDonald Denton. Bear had never had a real Christmas. He'd never had a tree with a sparkling star, or candy canes, or even gingerbread bears. But he'd read all about it. Clearly the most important thing was pickles. One frosty night, Bear heard a tap, tap, tapping on his front door. When he opened the door, there was a mouse, small and gray with bright eyes. Merry Christmas, cried Mouse. Maybe, said Bear. Bear had agreed to have a Christmas party. He'd never had one before. Do we open the presents first? Mouse asked eagerly. Presents? Bear shook his head most unseemly. What? Mouse's eyes opened wide. No presents? We shall sit around the tree and eat. I might even read a poem. Surely that will do, Bear declared. Then Bear went to the kitchen to get the Christmas pickles. But when he came back, no mouse. Mouse, where are you? Mouse didn't answer. Bear heard a tiny scurrying sound. It was coming from upstairs. Bear climbed the stairs to his bedroom. The scurry sound was under his bed. Mouse? Yes, came a muffled voice. Are you looking for a present? Mouse peeped out from under the bed. He had a bit of dust on his nose. Perhaps, said Mouse. Unnecessary hogwash, Bear scolded. We have pickles, remember? Oh, said Mouse. And Mouse trudged behind Bear back to the living room. Bear went to the kitchen to get the cheese. But when he got back to the living room, no Mouse. Mouse, you're looking for a present again, aren't you? Maybe, came a tiny voice. It was out in the hall. Bear opened the closet door. There was Mouse, small and gray and guilty-eyed. Not even one tiny present, squeaked Mouse. The pickles are from France, declared Bear. But surely, said Mouse. And furthermore, continued Bear, I shall be reading a long and difficult poem. The bear headed back to the kitchen to get the cookies, but before he got there, he quietly turned around and tiptoed back to the living room. No mouse, of course. Mouse! Mouse scampered out from behind the tree, tinsel dangling from one ear. Pickles and poems, bellowed bear. That is the Christmas spirit. Yes, bear, sighed mouse. Mouse sat in front of the crackling fire. Bear served them pickles and cheese and cookies and tea, smelling of cinnamon and oranges. Bear nibbled and sipped. Mouse did too, but his tail was sad. Bear cleared his throat. Mouse looked up. "'Twas the night before Christmas," Bear pronounced. When all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Bear stared sternly at Mouse. The pickles are wonderful, whispered Mouse. Bear continued. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. Bear paused and glanced over at Mouse. Mouse took a mournful bite of his pickle. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. Bear repeated more loudly. The stockings. Mouse leapt up, his eyes as bright as Christmas candles. You do have presents for me, he cried, pointing to the mantle. You have stockings. Certainly not. Impossible. Monstrous assumption, rumbled Bear. But he was smiling. Mouse scrambled into his stocking and popped back up with a package wrapped with sparkling red paper. Bear looked on eagerly as Mouse tore off the wrapping. It's the best present ever, Bear announced proudly, even if it's not a pickle. Inside was a shiny silver telescope. 
Bear hurried Mouse outside into the crisp winter night. Mouse pointed the telescope towards the glowing moon. Most wonderful, Mouse said softly. Thank you, Bear. Yes, indeed, Bear smiled, then looked at Mouse. Well, what? Mouse was busy studying the stars with his new telescope. Mouse, you didn't forget, did you? Bear looked most stricken. Pickles and poems, said Mouse. Then he turned the telescope towards a nearby fir tree. And presents! There peeking out from the snowy branches was a big red bow. Bear hurried over and pulled out a wooden sled with shiny red runners. I've always wanted a sled with shiny red runners, said Bear. Thank you, Mouse. You are... Bear swallowed. You're an excellent companion, someone of whom I am most fond of. You are my best friend, too, said Mouse with a happy flick of a whisker. Merry Christmas, Bear. Merry Christmas, Mouse, cried Bear. Then Mouse and Bear jumped on the sled and swooshed down the hill under the shining star of Christmas. The end.